Hi everyone. Welcome to English 3010 for winter 2022. I'm Dr. Nicole Gino Vardi, and this is our first weekly instructor video. I'm going to be posting one of these each week during the semester where I'll go over the assignments that I've given you for the week, kind of talk through anything that needs a little bit more explaining. Maybe I will address patterns that I'm seeing in writing that I wanna address to the whole class, or address questions that will be relevant for everyone, talk through announcements, do housekeeping stuff. A lot of the stuff that I would do in a face-to-face -face class to kind of talk through the logistics of the class will happen in these videos. So this is a good place to come if you have logistical questions. In this week's video, I want to do a quick overview, like a tour of our Canvas site to show you where you can expect to find things, especially communications from me. And then I want to do a little bit of a deep dive and explain the homework for this week, your Project Builder 1. So I'm going to do that in a second, but first I wanna say that if you haven't looked at the first day stuff module, pause the video, go look at that stuff. It's gonna have intro information, contact information, the syllabus, a lot of the things I'm about to talk through will make a lot more sense if you've looked at that first. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to our Canvas view and we'll get right to it. All right. So here we are in our Canvas site. This is that first day stuff module that I mentioned, and I'm not gonna take time to go through it because you guys just looked at it, right? Wink, wink. I do wanna show you that I have it set up so that our most recent announcements will post right here at the top of the page. So if there's any new announcements from me or from your peer mentors, you will see them right up here at the top. But you can also, of course, go over and click on the announcements link over on the side menu. Every week, I will be posting one sort of overview announcement with all the updates, housekeeping, I'll have links to the weekly videos, everything that you're gonna need for that week will be posted before class starts on Tuesday. So that's another thing to think about is that our class is a Tuesday, Thursday class. Now it's a hybrid class, which means that on Tuesday, we meet in class. This is a good segue to talk about how the modules are set up. And then Thursday, we will not meet in class. Of course, until January 31st, we'll be meeting synchronously on Zoom, and you can look in the announcement for this week to see my Zoom link. Um, so we'll meet synchronously and or in class on Tuesdays. And then Thursdays, that is asynchronous online time. And what you're gonna notice is that in each week's overview, I try to highlight what day we're on, but I kind of have thought about our weeks in a three-day schedule, like Tuesday, Thursday, weekend, or Sunday, which is when a lot of the deadlines are. So you'll notice that in a scheduled week, we'll have stuff that we do in class, stuff that I assign to do on Thursday-ish, it doesn't have to be exactly on Thursday because again, that's asynchronous work. So sometime between Wednesday and Sunday, you'll need to do this work. And you'll notice that I've set up all of the modules to separate our in-class work from our online work. So there's an overview for in-class work and then anything associated with that. There's also an overview each week for that week's online work and you'll find tasks everything's gonna be organized according to stuff to watch stuff to read stuff to write there are links within the overview page of course but you can also navigate to all of the assignments using the next button in canvas so you can see the week one videos a very sharp-eyed student pointed out that i haven't po posted the week one instructor video which I'm making right now. 
Good eye. Also, I'll be posting a project one overview video shortly. So you'll see three videos embedded here. So you, again, you can use the next button to kind of navigate through your perusal links, all of the readings. You can also pull back to the home page and see all of the work in chronological order from the beginning of the semester down to the bottom. So you'll see that all of the week one work is found here from videos, readings, perusal assignments, and then the project builders. And you'll note that there is pretty much a project builder assigned each week. And you can look in the syllabus for more information on what kind of assignments those are. Now, one of the things that I want to talk about here is project one. So I'm going to open it up. This is our first homework assignment. And in it, I'm asking you to choose and define a discourse community that you would like to study this semester. Now, if you're watching this and going, a dis what? I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. Don't worry. In this week's readings, in our synchronous class time tomorrow, Tuesday, we will be discussing and introducing the concept of discourse community. What you'll do for this week's assignment is you're gonna use the reading that we're gonna do in perusal, the Swales reading, and a little bit of the Wordle reading. You're going to identify and define a discourse community that you would like to focus on and study this semester. You get to choose. And once you identify a discourse community that you'd like to study, you will then answer these questions in relationship to the discourse community that you choose. For example, you might choose the discourse community that you want to go into as a career. Maybe it's mortuary science. Maybe it's kinesiology. You would choose that as your discourse community and then answer these questions for that community. So what are the goals of this discourse community of mortuary science? How do members of mortuary science discourse community do their work and their research? So for my discourse community of rhetoric and composition, I could go through and say, well, some of our goals in rhetoric and composition are to learn more about meaning in writing and speech and to discuss the ways that people learn how to read and write most effectively, et cetera, et cetera. Does that make sense? This, was a this is a question that has come up before in my English 3010 classes. Sometimes folks get a little confused of like, what am I supposed to, what am I answering these questions for? For the discourse community that you're going to choose. And again, if you don't know what that is or what that means, don't worry. We'll talk about it in our in-class time. Okay. I think that's all I wanted to show you in this quick first video. I'm going to pull back to the full view and close this out. Okay. That does it for our week one instructor video. I will see you guys in class. Bye, everybody.